the camera in close today. I'm going to check on this colony. I got my back to a lot of bees behind me. The barrel hive is right behind me. Bouncing off my back. I'm probably going to get lit up here. It is 7.30 at night. I just got out of work, so this is the only chance I got to mess with some bees. And I gotta mess with bees every day. Screw it, I don't care. I gotta do something with these bees every day. But this county here is the one that I cut off from underneath the trailer. Uh -huh. One of my previous videos, you just look for the uh, trailer. Cut down, I think I call it. I actually almost killed these bees, bringing them home, because I was very impatient. I should have left them there for a couple days, but I tried to bring them home on a really hot day, and they overheated. Killed a ton of bees in here. Had to dump out like three inches of dead bees in the bottom of here. But somehow the queen lived. And she's a nice looking big dark queen, almost black, if I remember correctly. Um, and they had her, they bounced right back really well. I think I gave them one frame of brood from another colony just to boost them up a little bit after I killed so many of them. Now I just want to see how they're doing here. I'm probably, I'm actually going to add a box to this. I'm going to put a super on top of here, right on top of this car, this, um, poly hive. It actually works. It'll sit right on top. I'll strap it together. Give them some room to store some honey for winter time. Pretty sure this is going to be a foundationless frame on the outside. Everybody loves my foundationless frames. Oh, no, it's not. Holy crap, it's a medium frame. What the hell was I thinking? It's a medium. But they have it filled up. They're drawing off the bottom. They can do that. The only thing is, I can't really sit this down too easily. I have to put it right over the entrance. Hmm. That's a good way to get lit up. Alright, I'm going to make this quick. As you can see, they've got a very good population. They're doing really well. I really was glad I didn't lose these bees because they were out in the middle of nowhere there's a warehouse but the warehouse is all surrounded by woods and woods and woods no houses anywhere no farms nothing so could be some good feral bees I don't know here's a foundationless frame with a starter strip perfectly beautiful Worker cells all the way. And yeah, they got larvae and everything, so I'm not gonna dig much more in here. But I will be giving them another box on top so they don't have to draw. I got some drawn comb from a colony that I had. Somewhere else, I never checked on it. They must have took off or something. Or went queenless and dwindled. But I got to it just in time. Right before the wax moths could eat it up. I'm actually going to give them this. 
line it up just right. Had a little bit of wax moth damage in there, but they're going to clean that up. Can't stand foundation. I got a whole pile of it. Cut it up. I don't mind it in the in the honey areas. Easier to extract. I just don't want too much root in it. I like them little bees. And this goes right on top. like the glove. No rain gonna get in there. Alright, so that's the trailer bees. Maybe I got time for another one. I don't know. Let's find out. I don't know. Let's check on Craig Max Hive. This is a removal that he did. He didn't get the queen, so we gave him a frame of eggs from, from my bees. And they raised the queen. But the last time I checked, she was still very young. Wasn't laying yet. So let's find out if she's laying or if she's even still in here or what the hell's going on. Got a little cicada shell here. I don't know, there's not a lot of activity here. I just gotta keep pumping this, it keeps trying to go out on me. Okay, there's a lot of bees in here. Now this hive has all foundationless frames. And we only gave them one drawn one. So let's see what they're doing. There hasn't been any feeding yet on this yard. I'm getting eaten alive by flies right now. You can't see them, but man, they're horrible. I almost gotta put my suit on just for the flies. They didn't get to the outside frame yet. That's my starter strip. You can't get those anywhere. Those are proprietary. Alright, so they just got started here on this little one here. It's like a little storage frame. Big cells. They're getting a little unhappy with me here. Uh, now let's see what we got here. A little double comb. But they connected it back together. On this side. Can't see it on this side. I don't see any eggs or anything yet. Little clean cup looking things. They're giving me a little bit of a buzz, like not too loud, they don't sound cleanless. <clears throat> Got a fly eating me up. More little cups everywhere. Not 
looking good. I don't see any eggs or anything. There should be cat fruit by now. It's been long enough. More little cups everywhere. Yeah, it's not looking good. As far as queen rightness, there's no beetles in here. Nothing, nothing bad going on. Just need a queen in here. Foundationless, perfect frame. More little cups everywhere. Not everywhere, just here and there. But yeah, I'm thinking there's no queen in here. Yeah, I don't think she made it. I don't think she made it back, Craig. Craig Mack. I think you're going to have to combine these with something. If I find extra clean somewhere, I'll throw it in, but it's getting a little late. Mm. Oh, it just got me in the head. Ow, damn, right in my back of my skull. You little. Oh, that burns. Mm. Oh, man. Damn. Alright, alright, so we know what's going on. Man, I had to go all the way back behind my head and get me like that? Is that what we're doing now? Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, they're just starting on this one. There ain't no clean in here, man. Sorry about that. She didn't make it back. I mean, for being totally cleanless, and we're not really in a flow or anything right now, not a really strong flow. Cleanless bees are supposed to be real mean. They're really not mean. I did get stung in the back of the head, but there's just one. It's not like they're lighting me up. See you on the next one, y'all.